It was on the 19th of November in the year 1927 the church of Rashal Seminary was packed with parishioners and clergy It was the vespers of the feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus The attraction of the evening was the preacher of the sermon It was none other than Father Ignelo de Souza As always he began his sermon with gusto and conviction but that day something unusual happened his usual fire started to fade his voice grew faint then he lost his balance and collapsed on the pulpit the assembly was in a shock for the agnello had suffered a massive heart attack The next day, the 20th of November 1927, at 5 in the morning, on the feast day of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, Father Ignelo breathed his last. The following day, he was given a solemn funeral, which was attended by people from far and wide. For the Agnello was laid to rest in the cemetery at the church of Rashal. At his funeral, the priest declared, "Today I have laid to rest a saint." What is so special about Father Agnello Gustavo Adolfo de Souza? Why is he venerated and honored a saint by people not just in Goa but all over the world? The story of the life of Father Agnello unfolds in the beautiful coastal village of Anjuna Bardes, Goa. He was born on the 21st of January 1869 to very devout parents. Miguel Arcanj de Souza and Maria Sinforosa At birth he was diagnosed with an unusual fatal illness and so was immediately baptized at home Thankfully baby Agnello recovered from his illness and was later baptized again in the church He was one of 9 children He grew up in a family with a lot of filial love, reverence for God, and the importance to live a virtuous life. His father looked after the family estate and was the main bread earner. His mother was a homemaker. Daily after serving breakfast to the children and before they went to school, Maria Sinforosa would give an hour of spiritual instruction to her children and the children of the neighborhood. After school, she also taught them music and sewing. Early in life, he displayed an uncommon eagerness and interest in the study of Christian doctrine and an inclination to religious life. He would engage his peers about stories of the Bible and the lives of saints. Tragedy would strike the family of Agnello. When he was 11 years old, his father passed away. Two years later, he lost his beloved mother. This was indeed a severe blow to him. as he was very close to his parents especially his mother the responsibility of the large family of eight boys and one girl was taken over by a paternal uncle agnello was sent to a government portuguese school there is teacher for the nascio ribello sowed in agnello the seeds of a priestly vocation His elder brother who was already a priest popped the question Would you like to dedicate your life as a servant of God 
Agnello without delay said, Yes, I would very much like to. From that day onwards, there was no turning back. After completing his secondary school and then two years of Latin, Agnello joined the diocesan seminary in Mapsa, where he completed his studies in philosophy. This followed his studies in theology at the Rashal Seminary. Rashal Seminary is a diocesan seminary that has a long history of educating and forming future priests. During his seminary days, Agnello spent a lot of time praying, reading, and contemplating on God's Word. He was a person of few words. He lived a simple life and was known for his humble and gentle ways. He was an excellent student and he passed out from the seminary with flying colors. After completing his studies in theology, he took up the responsibility of teaching Latin and Portuguese to the children of his village. Agnello did not merely desire to become a priest. He wanted to be a missionary priest. So he decided to join the Diocesan Missionary Society of St. Francis Xavier of Pilar. On the 17th of July, 1897, Agnello was admitted as a candidate to the Society of Pilar. On September 24, 1899, Archbishop Antonio Valent in the Cathedral of Old Goa ordained Agnello a priest. He was still under temporary vows. So the next 10 years, Agnello lived in the Pilar Monastery. During this period, he did penance read a lot, and spent time in prayer and contemplation. On September 8, 1908, Father Agnello made his perpetual vows in the Society of Pilar. His first appointment was as a confessor to the seminarians at Rashal Seminary. Given his spiritual and intellectual death, it was a perfect assignment for him. He was always available to students in guiding them and instructing them. He was an exemplary figure to the young seminarians. Father Agnello lived a very austere life. His meals were simple. His clothes were modest. He often said, it is not the clothing that honors a man, but his virtues. After completing his term in the seminary, his superiors transferred him to Kumta Parish as a parish priest. He served the people of the parish for seven years with dedication and devotion in spite of his weak health. His sermons attracted large crowds. As a pastor, he was always kind and compassionate to all his people. He daily visited the sick, prayed over them, and assured them his support. He had a special love and concern for the poor. One day a poor man came to him seeking financial help for his daughter's marriage. Father Agnello took a loan from a friend and helped the man. He did have his share of struggles in running the parish. Once late in the evening, a group of drunkards forced their way into the presbytery. After verbally abusing the parish priest, they demanded that he show them the parish accounts books. Father Agnello, with compassion in his voice, gently addressed them saying, My friends, it is your right to see the accounts as all the money in the parish belongs to the people. These troublemakers were completely taken aback by the gentle and humble pastor. Father Agnello's popularity as a preacher and confessor 
grew and spread to all the parishes in Goa. His words filled with deep conviction and his profound faith changed hearts and transformed communities. Wherever he went after the preaching, he would pass many hours in the confessional. He thus brought God's mercy, forgiveness and healing to countless people. After his term at Kumta Parish, he was transferred back to the Rashal Seminary, this time as the spiritual director. As a spiritual director, he was a father, a teacher, a friend and a guide to each seminarian. Throughout his life, Father Ignello suffered ill health and often had to be confined to his bed. But that did not prevent him from sharing the word of God through his words and deeds. Ironically, the end came while he was in the pulpit, delivering his last sermon. He passed away on November 20th, 1927, at a young age of 58. He was buried at the Rashal Church Cemetery. Twelve years after his death, on the 10th of January, 1939, Father Agnello's remains were transferred and placed in a tomb in the monastery at Pilar, the mother house of the missionary society he belonged to. Today, this saintly priest is respected and venerated by devotees from all over the world. It is our hope and prayer that one day soon, venerable, Father Ignello de Souza will be elevated to sainthood by the Holy Mother, the Church. Oh, <laughs> 